welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming another Will I Buy It video. I feel like there have been so many new things that have been announced and of course I want to talk to you guys all about it. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on new releases, just keep watching. Okay guys, so I hopped on the Trend Mood 1 Instagram page. The first thing I see is that the new Becca palettes are now available on Alta's website as well as Beautylicious website. Now I have not been using this a ton, but so far I do really think this is a fun palette. Do you need to run out and get it? Probably not, uh, but it's, it's interesting. I feel like they're trying to make a run for some hourglass money because that's the vibe I get from this whole palette, but if you have some extra change and you want to try out some of Becca's products, this might be a fun palette for you guys to check out. Now the next thing I see is BH Cosmetics is rolling out a new Galaxy palette and this is called the Aurora Lights. This is so freaking beautiful you guys. I can't wait to insert the pictures and it also looks like they're coming out with another brush set. BH Cosmetics has just been on a freaking roll. I recently picked up the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. Really excited to dig into that and now it looks like this new palette and their stuff is so affordable. I don't know. I know it's like a gimmick, like price is a gimmick when stuff is affordable. The eyeshadow palette is $18. That's ridiculous. Um, so I can't help myself and yeah, most likely I will be picking that palette up and it will be launching June 8th. The shades do look very similar to the ones that come in the Zodiac palette, like the same baked vibes, but this has some beautiful pink shades and some wonderful colors that I think will pair really well. Um, with those vibrant pink shades. So let me know if you guys are excited about it. I definitely am. Okay, so it looks like Jeffree Star has revealed some sneak peeks of his new summer line. It looks like it's all going to be revealed tomorrow, which is June 1st. And it looks like the, you know, collection will launch mid-June. If I find out more before this video goes up, I will try and add it in editing. But it looks like he's coming out with two shades. There's one called Cherry Wet, which is like a beautiful red shade, and Thirsty Trap, which is like a metallic lipstick. Um, so I'm really excited to see what else he's coming out with because I'm not gonna lie, I kind of have an eye on the Thirsty palette. I did pass on the Blood Sugar palette. I was expecting more reds in that palette, so I passed on it. Um, but you guys did see, I think the Thirsty palette has a yellow and a blue in it, so I'm a little bit intrigued. I want to see what he's got under his sleeve. Uh, Too Faced just announced this palette. Um, is it called like Back to the 90s or something? It's a glittery pink palette and I feel like they're getting a decent response from this palette. A lot of people are showing like interest and seem to be, you know, excited about it. Personally, I think it looks like a really big palette, you guys. And it looks like it's all glitter. And um, it looks like basically what they're doing is coming out with the original shades from 1998 and they're doing reinvented shades from the originals for this like 2018. So 10 years apart. That's an interesting concept. Yeah, I'm interested. I mean, it's like, so are, is the formula going to be from 1998? Because if that's the case, like, do we really want a palette? with shades that were formulated from 1998. The shades from 2018 look really vibrant, so I'll be interested to hear your thoughts on that. I got so excited when I saw this Storybook Cosmetics is coming out with another round for their Mean Girls collection. Now I do have the Storybook Cosmetics Mean Girls palette, the Burn Book palette, and uh, I think I did a swatch party video, but I have not reviewed that for you guys yet. I I can't stop, won't stop with the eyeshadow palettes, so I have quite a bit of backed up eyeshadow palettes to get to reviewing, but hopefully, um, you know, I'll continue to test my palettes and bring you guys reviews, but I'm excited to see what part two is about, because who doesn't love Mean Girls? I mean, really. Okay, so Spectrum Brushes is coming out with a little mermaid-themed six-piece collection, and they've got, like, all these different makeup brushes themed with... Little Mermaid? Little Mermaid was not my favorite Disney princess. I'm more of a Belle girl, but even that, it's more so because 
we did Beauty and the Beast as a musical when I was in like middle school. Um, so I'm really not into Ariel. <laughs> and so I will be passing on that collection. Patrick Starr and uh, Mac did reveal their round three collaboration. So they're doing a summer collection. And I don't know what this collection is called, but I do love the packaging. It's very vibrant and it looks like these are going to be sold in kits as well. I have not bought anything from the Patrick Star line so far. And it is so cool to see people like supporting him and stuff like that. But honestly, I'm just not into Mac at the moment. Every once in a while, I will pick up something from them. Like I recently picked up this guy, the Mac Fix Plus Gold Light. And I must say, this product I don't really like. I don't really see uh, much of a difference between this and just using the regular Fix Plus. So that's my little review for you guys. And I know they just came out with the matte Fix Plus. And I want to try it, but I'm also a little bit apprehensive. Plus, I have more setting sprays. Then I know what to do with. So I'm going to hold off on that as well for now. Here's something I'm so freaking excited about. And... At first, I was like, I'm going to buy it. Now, I'm not so sure, but oh my God, these colors are just so cute. Um, Jeffree Star is coming out with a mini um, lipstick bundle called Equality. And basically, it's going to be $52. And they teamed up with the L LA LGBT Center to donate proceeds to their charity and help LGBTQ youth. Now, I must say, if I can buy makeup and it's helping a cause, like that is like the perfect freaking formula for me and I don't know a lot of brands that do that. I know Wet n Wild recently did their summer collection. I know Kat Von D actually does quite a few like charity collaborations that I've supported in the past and also Colourpop. So I think this is really cool and I love the idea of like the rainbow lipsticks. Oh, so I'm so tempted um, because those colors are just freaking calling my name. Now moving on to allegedly Jeffree Star's Arch Nemesis Manny MUA revealed his Life is a Drag palette, which is the first product from his line, Lunar Beauty. Uh, now, I had followed Manny for a long time, and I haven't seen him, I haven't watched his videos very recently. I did watch the reveal video because I was honestly really, really curious. And at first, I was like, cool, that's a good idea. But uh, I was really confused about the theme and, like, the drag situation because, I mean... It's not my place to say, like, who and what is considered a drag queen, but I feel like when I think of drag queen, I don't really think of Manny. Like, I think of other things, like RuPaul's Drag Race, but I really don't think of Manny. So, I wish he had come up with something that was more authentic to who he is, because he doesn't really pot uh, portray himself as a drag queen to me. So, this palette does feel a little bit disjointed, not just from the theme, but also, like, the color combinations. I feel like he should have just done two palettes and, you know, done them well. Like, the neutral half of the palette is beautiful, but I feel like he should have just done, like, an 8-pan palette with, like, the best neutral shades and an 8-pan palette with, like, the best colorful shades where you could just use one palette to create an entire eye look. So, I feel like this is kind of a missed opportunity for him because there's not enough color for people that love color and there's not enough... Like, people that love neutrals would be really kind of freaked out by the six colors on the side. So I think he tried to, like, include everyone, but in a way it's almost like... <sighs> but, like, I already have that neutral palette, and I already have a palette that's way more colorful than those six shades. And yes, he's trying to sell it on being the best quality, but I think something that YouTube beauty gurus don't realize is that they don't sell in-store. So when they say, like, this is the best quality product ever... All we really have to go off on is their word. And I'm sorry, but Manny MUA telling me how great his palette is doesn't really give me much stock in the fact that his palette is great. Because at the end of the day, if I had a makeup brand and I spent all my money on it, of course I'm going to tell you it's great. Even if it's not. And I do feel like he was trying to be honest with saying, like, the black isn't the blackest black because he doesn't want it to be overly pigmented because then it's hard to, like, correct your mistakes. And that's a valid point. But... I still feel like it's a little bit weird when beauty gurus try to sell on the quality aspect because it's like, but we can't swatch your product. So do you have like a return policy? Like if we don't like the product, most places don't. So I'm really curious to see what people are going to say once they get their hands on the palette. 
I personally am not planning on picking up Manny's palette, but I wish it the best of luck. Okay guys, that is everything I wanted to talk about in this Will I Buy It video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on the products I mentioned. Are you buying any of the stuff? Are you passing on it? How do you feel about the Manny palette? How do you feel about the Jeffree Star palette? Let me know. I love hearing you guys' thoughts and I will catch you on the next one. Bye guys.